Now that we are able to play our first and second song, there's a number of useful features I'd like to point out. So the first one is to set the volume. So you just press the volume key here and then slide in this area here and the volume goes up and down. Second is, so let's play a chord and then while I'm playing or after I'm done playing I can slide my finger here and this is the strumming pad and it lets me play all of the notes of that chord. So that's especially interesting when I show the different instruments, an instrument with less uh, sustain. So this is done by clicking the instrument button here or holding instrument and then I have one instrument family under each of the keys here. So the C is the pianos and then I can play, it's a piano song. And then, sounds better, right? If I press here is D, instrument D is the chromatic uh, percussions. And instrument E is the series of organs. So if I press instrument E, but then I press a second key, let's say I press E again, I have the rock organ, and then press again for next, church organ, reed organ, accordion, I like the, I like the accordion. So, oh yes, so the, all the keys here are actually analog, so you can hold this key and like move your finger away from the center and then you can modulate the, the volume. That's one of the very interesting part of the instrument is that it's, it's expressive. And you can use also this also to bend the notes up and down. So say I, I play a C or I play an, yeah, to bend up. I would move, I take the first pen of the next line, that's the F, oh yeah, and to bend down it would be the other C. And see how even the, the display here is updating here. So in, a, in order you're running out of instruments, there's another family of instruments um, behind the C, each of the keys. So remember, instrument C gives me the pianos. And then if I hold the shift button here, I have the reeds. So again, soprano saxophone, alto sax, tenor sax, baritone. Okay, let's stick with the piano. <laughs> 